744 on WISN. So Governor Tony Evers and his Attorney General Josh Call are suing to kill off the state's longstanding law on abortion. Wisconsin has had a law in place for 173 years that bans nearly all abortions, and it kicked back in when the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade on Friday. It's clear the Republicans who control the legislature have no great desire to revisit it or change it. They're perfectly happy with leaving it in place and having an abortion ban here in Wisconsin. That has the left infuriated, of course, and it's spurring Evers' action here to go to court and try to kill off that longstanding standing law on the grounds that it hasn't been enforced in decades and his attorneys say it conflicts with other abortion laws that have been passed since so what are the governor's chances of success here i'm not a constitutional lawyer don't ask me uh rick essenberg of the wisconsin institute of law and liberty is and he joins me now good morning sir how are you Good morning, Jay. How are you doing? I'm doing real well. Thanks for doing this. Uh, these seem sort of like legitimate lines of argument from Evers and Call here to the layman, like myself. What say you? Do they have a fun case here? No, this the nope. case is a political stunt. Uh, and it, some of these arguments could be made by other people in other circumstances. But as a general rule, uh, when we bring a court case, you, you can't simply go into court and ask a court to say, this law is constitutional or this is what the law means. There has to be an actual case controversy. Somebody has to be trying to do something to you. And so typically when you challenge a law, you have to sue the government official who is implementing the law. Here, uh, Governor uh, Evers and, and the Attorney General have sued legislative leaders. But these legislative leaders, uh, who incidentally didn't even vote to pass these laws, because as you point out, one was passed over 170 years ago, and the other one was passed, uh, that, that they rely on principally, was passed uh, uh, almost 40 years ago. They have nothing to do with administering these laws. Legislative leaders don't administer laws. And so the proper outcome of this case is that it be dismissed on procedural grounds? Hmm. Maybe somebody else, you know, who the uh, the abortion laws are being enforced against, could make one of these arguments. One of them is absolutely frivolous, and it's an argument that because of Roe versus Wade, the law hasn't been enforced for uh, uh, you know fifty years, and so therefore it should be considered nullity. I think that's ridiculous. I'm aware of no theory that supports that. But the other argument is that there's been an implied repeal of the 173-year-old law by uh, some more recent laws that were passed uh, in order to conform with Roe. Uh, the, without getting into the legal inside baseball, the idea that a law would be implicitly repealed, that is, it would be repealed by the enactment of another law and not you know, by the legislature coming right out and saying that they did it, mm -hmm. uh, is highly disfavored and is unlikely to succeed. And so I, th I think what's happening here is that uh, this is a political stunt. Uh, it's being done um, in order to gin up support for the midterm elections, and, and in particular perhaps for the Supreme Court election next spring. And it should be summarily dismissed, and uh, it's just not a serious effort.